Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today is Saturday. I don't know the date. I want to say it's the 15th. Yeah, it's the 15th. So vlog was day 15. Today is going to be a really cute little Christmassy day because I am going to a garden centre near me and Atticus is going to meet Santa and normally they have reindeers there and I'm basically just going to have a really nice day out at a garden centre. I feel like when you go to one at Christmas, it's always just like it puts you in the Christmas mood, like you feel. So I've woken up this morning. I actually washed my hair last night, so I just straightened it before I did my vlog because when I wash my hair my hair goes like something else like it's just like frizzy and it's so 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 hard to tame so I literally just spent the last half an hour straightening my hair and it's still not fully straight and it's actually still really frizzy and that is the only thing that I hate about my hair how like frizzy it goes because then when I straighten it it doesn't go like that smooth like silky like it may look like it now but it's really not and within 10 minutes it'll be frizzy again so that is what I've been doing this morning and in a minute I'm going to do my makeup before we go we're actually leaving pretty early we're leaving in about an hour hour and a half so I don't have too much longer left until we need to go so I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna pick an outfit and get changed and then I will keep you guys updated but I'm really excited I love going to meet Father Christmas I'm not probably meeting him because I am 18 now so I'm just going as like an adult to like watch over Atticus with mum but still I'm so so excited it proper puts me in like the Christmassy spirit the garden centre we're going to as well also sells like I don't know if you guys have ever collected it or your family's ever collected it but it's like a village that you like buy a piece for every year or maybe you buy a couple of pieces for every year and it's like ceramic and all the houses light up and you can get all the different people and stuff well they'd always sell like so much of that and it used to be a tradition that every year me and my mum and my nan would go and my mum and nan would buy a new piece for the village they haven't done it in so long because we don't actually have anywhere to put it now but it is such a lovely thing to collect and if any of you guys collect it please let me know down below if they still have it at the garden center because I feel like that might be why we stopped buying it because they actually don't sell it anymore but if they still have it then I will film it for you guys but I saw some of it when I was in New York and I think Saf filmed it for her vlog so if you know what I'm on about please comment down below because it's like the best thing at Christmas but yeah that is the plan for today so I'm gonna put some makeup on my face I'm gonna get changed and then we're gonna leave I have basically done my makeup now but I want to try this new lipstick that I got yesterday in my PO box this is from from Kiko and it's from their sparkling holiday collection and it's the matte lipstick in number two first of all the packaging is so pretty very quirky and something I wouldn't usually like draw myself to I normally go for quite plain packaging but this color is so pretty it's so matte which I love because I way prefer matte lipsticks and I thought this is gonna look really nice with my eyeshadow so I swatched it yesterday but this is gonna be like a first impression on my actual lips but I love it it's so gorgeous This colour is literally amazing. It feels so smooth on my lips considering it's a matte lipstick. But it may sound weird, but like I find it hard to put lipstick on now because I always wear the same liquid lipstick every day. It's the Too Faced Melting Matte in Child Star. And because it's liquid lipstick, it's obviously a lot different to apply than this type of lipstick. So when I go for like a stick lipstick, I find it really, really hard to put on my lips. And I have no idea why. Maybe it's just because I'm more used to like this. But as you can see, this shade is a lot lighter to the shade that I have on my lips so I have gone for something a little bit darker today but I'm feeling it I think it looks really really nice I also have another shade here which is in number four and that is a lot darker that would be really nice actually as like an ombre lip so this as like the liner and then this shade in the middle that is maybe a look that I need to kind of maybe like go for I feel like that would look really good but this is the lip color for today so I am now going to get dressed and sort my hair out a little bit I need to put some defrizzy like oil thing into it, it's gone really frizzy again and then I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm basically ready to leave and I'm so excited like it makes sound stupid that I'm excited to go and see Father Christmas but I actually am. Whilst I'm getting ready I'm actually watching Love Actually because they've put it on Netflix and this is my mum's favourite film but I don't really remember it. It came out in 2003 and it's got so many famous actors in and it's just got to the part where Ant and Decker are in it and if you guys like watch my vlogs or follow my Twitter you know that I literally adore Ant and Deck. There's just something about 
about them like they just have a special place in my heart it's kind of strange but i just love them so much and anna decker in it and they look so young like if you haven't seen love actually you need to watch it i definitely have seen it before just not in a long time so i'm re-watching it and it's so good and netflix are getting some really good new movies on there well not new movies but like they're adding films on there and they're so good if you haven't watched it already i was watching the christmas chronicles the other day as well and that's amazing that's a new netflix original and the princess switch and the holiday calendar their christmas films this year are the Holiday Calendar was probably my favourite out of the three, and then The Princess Switch, and then The Christmas Chronicles. It's freezing out today, so I've gone for the thickest, probably the biggest coat I have, which is this massive burgundy one from Pretty Little Thing, and then I've got on a chocolate brown jumper, some leggings, and then I've got on some black trainers, and then I'm just going to take my normal handbag. But we're off to the garden centre, I'm very excited, and I'll update you guys when we get there. Just so you guys can actually see how big this coat is, it's literally this big. Like, it's actually like the size of me, but... Love that. We have arrived at the garden centre. Atticus is just in the back there. Are you excited? Right. If Santa annoys me, I'm going to have to blow my whistle. <gasps> oh. He annoys you. If the reindeers, how do they run? Like, what noise do they make? Yeah. Like, what noise do reindeers make? I don't think they make one. It's all like, <laughs> don't they? Like, you know. <laughs> If they do that, I'm going to blow my whistle at them and we'll just run in. Do you know what? I don't even know if they're real reindeers are here. No, I don't know if they're here. Me and Mum look very Christmassy today now. Coats look at us. God. Can we get out? You don't realise, do you? Look. And I look Christmassy. <laughs> and you look Christmassy as well, Atticus. And my jumper. He's got his Christmas jumper I'll, on, I'll, darling. I'll do your clothes to look inside. <laughs> Show them what you got on your jumper then, Atticus. Oh. What you got on there? I can't do it at the moment. I'll give them. I know he loves the camera, doesn't he? I think me and you should have wore different colour coats. You should have wore a different colour coat. I have mine on first. No, I have mine on first. No, I knew I was wearing this this morning. <laughs> we just walked in and Atticus has seen this massive reindeer. Yeah. And now he wants to, to take him home and put him in yeah. the living room. Can I get a picture, Atticus? I remember when I used to come to the garden centre when I was younger and when I used to come and meet Santa, I always used to ask for the fairy magic books. I don't know if any of you guys used to read them or if you still have them. I've st I know I've still got quite a few under my bed actually, but they were just like these really thin books. They were called fairy magic and every time they'd release new fairies, they had like the Monday fairy, the Tuesday fairy. They had so many and I remember every single year that is literally all I would ask for, just the fairy magic books. When I was younger, I always used to love stamps and I've just found that they do these at the garden centre. Obviously they don't do my name because my name is not common at all. I don't know anybody else called, oh my god, they dropped them all, Anastasia. So they definitely wouldn't have it and they don't even have Anna as well. As a kid, they never had my name and always had to get Anna. But these are so, so sick. I really, really want one. I wish they had my name. Father Christmas might bring you one of them ones, so choose one that's in the box. What one's the biggest? They're all the same. Oh, you think if it's the T-Rex, it's going to be bigger? Yeah. Do you want no. me to pick it, Atticus? Yeah, but there's no way of knowing. But, yeah, but still, do you want me to pick it? You come, you shake. Shake it, Anna. He wants you to. There's no way of knowing. Whatever one you think is a team. That one. Do you? Yeah, it's a bit heavier, that one. Is it, Anna? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah. All right, go for that then. I haven't got a Christmas tree in my room this year because honestly, I just don't have the room anymore. But next year when we're in a different house, I'm definitely going to have one in my room. But look at all these different decorations. They're so beautiful. We always come up here and look at the decorations. Yes, Atticus? What are you looking at? <gasps> What's that over there? Oh, that one's so it's cute. Amazing. Look at that little reindeer. <gasps> Somebody making balloons. Somebody has just made Atticus this balloon and it's a T-Rex. How insane is this? That like we were just watching him, he's made Santa's Christmas trees and then Atticus just pops out the question and he wants a T-Rex. But this is so sick. I just said to mum, maybe you should do this as a job instead. <laughs> It'd be a pretty sick job. Don't you mum? Atticus had just met Santa and Santa gave him a magic tree. Oh, and Santa gave you a present. And you're going to decorate the tree. Oh, that looks lovely, Atticus. <gasps> going to put some yellow on it. You can decorate it however you want to. Very, very good, Atticus. Oh, it's so Christmassy. We just met Santa inside the grotto. And all the elves. Atticus, what was the elf's name? 
remember. Toffee? And how old was Toffee? Three. She was only three and she was bigger than you, wasn't she? Yes, but I'm older than her. Atticus just opened his present from Santa and Atticus actually asked for dinosaurs and Santa got him dinosaurs. Atticus, how did Santa know that? I don't know. That was really, really lucky, wasn't it? You've got a backpack, you've got an egg. How do we hatch it? How do we hatch it? I'll read the instructions in a minute. Yeah, and now we're in the cafe. And what's Sissy Anna having? I don't know. A roast dinner. A roast dinner. Guys, we literally cannot stop laughing. Look at Mum's face in this picture of Santa. Santa isn't even looking. Atticus is looking somewhere else. Mum, we do not know what happened. And then it's just me. We were, got, we were told to say Merry Christmas. So, I mean, that's what we were apparently all saying. But, I mean, if this isn't the reality of going to meet Santa, then I really do not know what is. And here is my roast dinner. This was only £11, which I feel like for this size roast dinner is so good. I've got carrots, brussels, cabbage, parsnips, roast potatoes, pigsy blanket stuffing, turkey, cranberry sauce and gravy. Atticus is going against the speed limit here. <laughs> You're going a bit too fast, Atticus. What? You're going too fast. You're breaking the speed limit. What? <laughs> and I am finally home. The last clip you would have seen was Atticus on a ride because we popped to Morrison's. Mum needed to go and get some food for dinner tonight because we're having a homemade lasagna which is my favourite food along with cheese pie and then I had to come home and then I drove to Tesco to go and buy some bits that I needed to film a video next week so and now I'm back home and I'm just chilling on my bed. There was another shop that I needed to go to to go and get some more bits but honestly I literally couldn't be bothered. I was so knackered after today and the weather right now is grim. It is literally chucking it down with rain like downpour rain and I really didn't fancy going out in that so I thought no I'll stay in it actually it looks later than it is it's literally only five o'clock but because of how dark it is it looks like I'm filming at like 10 o'clock at night in my room so that's kind of annoying so I'm really sorry about that but it literally is two minutes past five we're having lasagna for dinner tonight so I'm just waiting for that and I'm just gonna wipe all my makeup off I'm gonna put my hair up and I'm gonna have a Christmas movie night in bed and just really really relax because I feel so Christmassy after seeing a Santa earlier the lip color stayed on so well though I had a full-on roast dinner earlier I've had two or three drinks and I've had other food actually and the lipstick hasn't budged and for an actual like lipstick and not a liquid lipstick that is good so I really really rate this Kiko lipstick also I just received the cutest Christmas card from a account called Gucci Anna on Instagram Hayley we've met at Big Beauty Day Out and she's so so lovely and she actually sent me a Christmas card to my PO box so thank you so much I'm gonna pop this on my shelf now and yeah I love it I have read it but I don't want to show you like what's inside Side, but she's written me a very very long message but thank you so much Hayley I love it she's also done a little note for my mum Atticus and my nan so that's so so lovely bless you Hayley thank you so much here is our dinner we have got a homemade lasagna mum has got hers over here as well basically the reason we can't sit at the table is because all the chairs are broke so we're having our dinner on our laps at the moment yeah except your chair your chair's fine I'm now out of the bath I actually fell asleep for two hours the last time I spoke to you was at like five o'clock ish and then I remember shutting my eyes on my bed and suddenly it's like half past 10, quarter to 11. So I'm going to end this vlog here as I'm going to sit and edit it because tomorrow I'm going to be filming a main channel video as well as vlogging. Tomorrow's going to be really challenging. So I'm literally just going to go to bed super early tonight. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, I love you all so much. And I will see you tomorrow at 6pm for a brand new vlog. Mwah. Bye.